You've heard the saying many times before, let food be thy medicine. Our first guest was really struggling with her health. She was hypoglycemic and type 2 diabetes was about to be a problem too. Most people would think the answer to her health issues would be a prescription, right? Instead, she decided to make drastic changes to what she ate and how she ate it. 12 years later, Christina Carrillo Bucaram is not only healthier than ever, but she's teaching others how to improve their health as well through social media. And she joins us this morning. Hello there. Hi, so thank you for having me again. You're I welcome. love always <laughs> being on your show. All right, you have a nickname now. Fully Raw Christina. Yeah, and yes. the reason why we're saying Fully Raw Christina is that uh, not only do you decide to be a vegetarian, but vegan, and then to eat Fully Raw. Raw vegan, yes. So I've been a raw vegan for almost 13 years now. Yeah. 13 years, so not eating meat, dairy, pastas, gluten, carbs. It's basically Remind just... Remind people the differences that made in your health everything so reversing type 2 diabetes and hyperglycemia uh, completely regaining my life back my energy uh, my my longevity in yeah. every possible way just by eating a diet rich in fruits and vegetables nuts and seeds in their most natural form it's because been that's where you get the most nutrient dense foods when you're not Absolutely. boiling the nutrients out of it uh, when you started doing this there are some people who look at you sideways especially in Texas where we love a <laughs> barbecue and our meat right uh, but you found that people kind of no pun intended were hungry for information of how to improve their health through food and you had Absolutely. the social media following that just took off like crazy well I I actually ran, I, I think you remember this, I came on your show years ago when I was running our largest farmer's market mm -hmm. essentially in Houston, which ended up being the largest cooperative in the United States at one point. And so I got my start by basically selling fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. and encouraging people to eat that. And I started my social media, my YouTube following in getting people in our local community to teach them how to make you know, recipes with these living foods. Yeah. And from there I realized that the need is so great for people to understand this information and that's what made it grow. I didn't do anything really, it was more so people really need this information because, yeah. you know, people go to the doctor and they want to prescribe drugs and this it's expensive it's heartbreaking to think that you can't be healthy on your own well, but and the first line of, of health care really is each one of us as individuals and there are things that medicine can fix but oftentimes if the problem starts here then the, you can solve that problem here i really believe that the body is self healing and self-sustaining and if you give it what it needs to thrive it will do the best job for you all right so let's take a look at what you're talking about obviously there's just like uh you know the fruits and vegetables as they come which absolutely. is absolutely right? and i have three different recipes that i prepared for you today okay. the first was a craving buster smoothie which is something very easy people can prepare at home and you wouldn't well try it first okay. tell me how let's you see. like it i just like that it matches my outfit yes okay. it's bananas raspberries coconut water dates and beets oh wow which it has everything in it it except for a green so yeah. people who want something sweet and fun in the morning to get your day going it's great what's good about this too is that there are people who will say well I don't like this vegetable or I don't like that vegetable right what you're doing with this combination is you're camouflaging the taste of something but you're still getting the nutrients beets Absolutely. for example people can go either way on beets I can taste the beet in here but it's not the overriding flavor that I have in here Absolutely. I taste really the banana and beets are beautiful these are you're eating the rainbow right now mm -hmm. who doesn't want to eat these beautiful colors mm -hmm. and then when you make it yourself you also know exactly what's in it Yes, right. yes and yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and I also prepared two different pasta dishes as well. So when I say pasta, I actually make noodles out of zucchini. Mm -hmm. So rather than making it out of, you know, different type of a carbohydrate or the typical pasta people would think, uh, starches and whatnot, this is actually made out of a vegetable. But you can make noodles out of carrots, beets, yeah. and cucumbers. And that's part of the process is that because we're so used to eating certain things, when you say pasta, we're so used to knowing what that is, right? Yes. Uh, that if you make it look like or have the texture of, it kind of tricks the brain and people can kind of slide into it a little easier. Same things with uh, meat. We know like a portobello mushroom can kind of double as a hamburger patty, if you will. Yes. And it's juicier and it has more nutrients mm -hmm. in it, which leaves you feeling better, not tired Does when it make you, you eat fat? it. It doesn't. <laughs> no, it does not. You can enjoy as much abundance as you want on this lifestyle because the food is very high in water content, but low in calorie, which means you can eat more yeah. and enjoy but high with no nutrients work. too. It's guilt-free yeah. food completely. Okay. So I've also made this is a basil pesto made with simply mm. basil, pine nuts. Um, Get the two that. main ingredients. Yeah, yeah. Go for it, and you can just you can mix it into the pasta at any point that you'd like. 
It's oh yeah, that's really good. Lemon, a little bit of green onion, only five ingredients in oh, that. Wow. Five ingredients and yeah. there's so much flavor. What do you think the biggest hesitation for a lot of people is to actually go into something like this? I know at one time people go, okay, that's kind of weird. But today more and more people are going, actually it's kind of the way we ate for so long. And It is. I know with meat, I grew up early years in Asia, where meat was really used to season things with, or we'd throw it in if you had a little left over, and the overriding thing on the plate was fruits and vegetables, right? Yes. Uh, somewhere along the way, we decided that the meat should spill over the plate, <laughs> but what's the biggest hesitation that, that people have when you say, no, I eat raw? Okay, so I love this question because vegan, the word vegan is actually trending right now. Yeah, but misunderstood by it, a lot of people. Yes. But I'm not into trends. Mm -hmm. I'm into what the healthiest thing is to do. And I truly believe that maybe in a few years, raw vegan will catch on more. Vegan, you can still be very unhealthy and be a vegan because mm -hmm. you can still eat, you know, cookies and desserts and pastas and things and not eat meat or dairy. So is it the healthier option? Absolutely. Is it the more ethical option? Absolutely. To not consume animals, mm -hmm. not eat our friends. Raw vegan focuses more on just consuming fruits and vegetables. So it's a more high nutrient dense diet, which yeah. I believe is the way we should be living. Okay. Well, the other question would be, yeah, but what about your muscles? Yeah. Muscles need protein. Uh, Do I protein look protein is not only in meat. Yeah. Protein is not only in meat. Yeah. Protein is found in our greens. Even fruit has protein in it. Our bodies really only need about 10%. Nuts? Yeah, and, and nuts, but nuts are more so geared towards the fat. Okay. So if people want more fat, they go for nuts, seeds, avocados, coconuts. Mm -hmm. I eat so many greens, I probably get about 60 grams of protein in my day. Between green juices and smoothies and salads, I get tons of protein Yeah, and plant-based protein. Tell me what your breakfast looked like this morning. My breakfast would be basically this smoothie, but it would perhaps be this entire pink jar right there. So okay. I would drink 32 ounces of that. That would be a smoothie, or I would make a green juice. Okay, what about your lunch? My lunch would be half of a watermelon. Half like of a watermelon? Like something just like, I love watermelon right now. It's summer, it's in season, it's delicious, it's juicy. Or maybe perhaps I would cut up a bowl of four to five mangoes and use that. And, and that's enough that for you? Well. Uh, yeah, because yeah. I mean that would be about 600, 800,000 calories depending on how much I burn. Yeah. I tend to eat about 2,400 calories a day, so. Wow, and you're this size. Yeah, but okay. it's because I'm eating the right, a different, the right food, and yeah. fruit is nourishing. Okay, and your well. dinner looks like what? My dinner would look like a bowl of this pasta. Uh, I had another dressing with ingredients to show you here that you could easily make at home, okay. whether it be, be, you could blend up mango, av av avocado, basil, dates, green onion, lemon, and some pine nuts, and you can make another dressing as well yeah. that would be sweet and not overbearing. Or you could even make your own, you know, tomato marinara and put it on your zucchini yeah. noodles as well. And that's what you share with people is uh, the, yes. the health information, but also those recipes, because I think that's where a lot of us get confused as well. Uh, but like I mentioned earlier, you can blend all those things and get uh, discover a whole new world <laughs> of, of fruits and vegetables and look yes. at them differently. The other thing is people who say, okay, but I've got my cravings. I have my cravings for either sugar those pastas and things that you talked about, or even meat, you say give it a chance for how long and you'll start noticing that you might not want those other things, those cravings go away. There's nothing you can make cooked that you can't make raw. So there are substitutes for anything. If you want something land, sweet, yeah. go for fruit. There's a way to replace everything. and. Yeah. Your body replaces its cells all the time. It regenerates itself. And after six months, your body is almost completely new. So yeah. the longer you go without eating toxic foods, the less your body will want them. And a craving is actually a detox or release. So think about it. Anytime you have a really intense craving, it means your body's about to release something. Right, right. So be strong. Yeah, be, be strong. <laughs> and your app can help people be strong. Explain yes. how your app works. I am so excited to have just launched my very first app. It's in the Apple iTunes store, and it's been number one all week, um, which has been amazing in food and drink. There's over 100 raw vegan recipes, over 100 informational videos with recipe videos. There are challenges in there as well for people who want to take a plunge to try one smoothie a day, one raw vegan meal a day, yeah. a week of raw vegan food. Uh, it's just an amazing app. It yeah. took us two years. You don't have years. to jump in all at once. Yeah, it took yeah. us two years to create, but it's a complete learning experience and it's geared to help people achieve the health 
that they would like to have. I am feeling stronger already, and I, I believe I lost a couple of pounds by <laughs> drinking this right you here. You lost a couple of pounds yeah, with me right, right, with right here, right now. All right. Christina, thank you very You're much. You're so welcome. <laughs> All right. Uh, for more information on Christina's Raw app, it's available in the App Store. To learn more about the vegan lifestyle, visit GreatDayHouston.com, and we'll connect you to all of Christina's social media.